outside of the little AI writing community, I hear a lot of authors complain that those of us that are in this community are fake, are just in it for a quick buck, that we're lazy or whatever the case may be. And that is hard for a lot of authors like myself to deal with, especially because as I've gotten to know you, all of you watching this channel and and many of the other author groups that I'm in, I have found that there is such a diverse variety of reasons why you might want to use AI. To the point that I genuinely believe that every author who isn't like writing out a book by hand will be using AI in some form or another later down the road. And this video will not only give you reasons why you might be using AI already, but reasons why every author should be using AI in their writing. Let's get into that. Hello everyone, I'm Jason the Nerdy Novelist. If you're new to this channel, I create videos all about using AI for your writing and in your author business. And today we're going to be getting into reasons why you should use AI in your writing, whether or not you do already. I genuinely believe that every author can benefit from AI in some form or another and should be using it as a tool and I will die on that hill. So here are a couple of reasons why you might do this. I actually reached out to a bunch of friends of mine, some of the author communities that I'm a part of that are AI positive, and they got back to me with a whole wealth of ideas many of which I had heard before, but many of which I, I had it, and I included some of those in this video. Let's start with number one, which was the one that most frequently got mentioned, and that is, you're just curious. And I feel like this is how a lot of us got started. This is how I got started. My first foray into AI, it was well before ChatGPT. I was just curious to see what this whole AI thing was all about. I had heard things about it, and you know that is a good enough reason because I feel like every good entrepreneur has a strong curiosity streak and very few of the entrepreneurs that I've come across are people that are anti-AI in any way. And that is why I feel like curiosity is such an important skill to develop. That might just be the reason why, and that is absolutely fine. It was definitely the most common answer I got. Or you might be neurodivergent in some way. I actually was surprised when I started meeting people that identified as neurodivergent, whether that was uh, ADHD or they had dyslexia or bipolar disorder or depression or whatever it was. Anytime someone is neurodivergent in any way, it becomes difficult to operate in the quote unquote normalized system that we are in that we are forced to be in day in and day out. And so many authors that I've talked to who identify as neurodivergent have found out that AI has really saved them and made it so much easier for them to actually do the things that people have been telling them to do. And this is why it's really hurtful to hear people say that you're just being lazy if you're into AI. Some people, it is just not possible to write books the traditional way, not without a lot of help. So that's number two, and it's probably one of the most important on this list. Number three, you might want to start a publishing company, and that's okay. You might want to just put out a lot of books and make a whole lot of money. That's fine. There are people who have been doing that for ages already without AI, and AI is just another tool in that arsenal. And I think there's a lot to be written uh, in the future, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, what I mean is, I think we have yet to see how this is going to affect the, the publishing market. Um, and I'm personally of the opinion that more books isn't necessarily the answer, but we'll see how that goes. We definitely, you definitely can use AI as a publishing option for sure. Number four, and this one is personal to me, is you are feeling burnt out. Burnout can happen for any number of reasons. I'm not going to get into that here. I should probably do a whole video about burnout because it's such a prevailing issue for a lot of authors. But you know what can really help you get through burnout? It is AI. I went through several years of burnout where I had previously, I put out eight books in two years and then I 
put out two books in three years, I think. And that was just hard. I went through, you know, there's a whole story behind it, but it was, it was really tough for me. And it was AI that got me out of it. That made me start writing again, partly because it lowers the barrier to getting those words on the page. It gets it, uh, it makes it much easier. Number five, you have too many books that you want to write. This one also I identify with very closely. I have like, I, I literally counted all my book ideas at some point. It was like over two, 300 in, in that range there. I am not going to be able to write those all in my lifetime, but maybe with AI I could, or I could at least get a very significant chunk of it done. For those of us who just love creation, AI is a godsend because we don't want to spend too much time in the nitty gritty of things. We just want to make, create more and more and bring these ideas to life in various ways. Uh, now people find joy in any number of aspects of the writing. So this might not, that might not be you, but for me, I really love coming up with the story and creating the outline. And then the whole process of getting it on paper is really difficult for me because I feel like I've already come up with it. I've already done the fun part of dreaming it and the actual realization of the ideas into a tangible book is painstakingly hard for me at times, uh, especially since I went through that period of burnout that I had. And so AI is another great tool why that would allow you to complete books faster so you could get to all those ideas that you want to get to. This is also a great opportunity to write books that maybe aren't written to market that uh, that you don't know if they'll work well and could be a bigger risk financially because you can use AI to write it faster. You're not as you're not in as much risk of that as you normally would be. Number six, you have writer's block. Now I think this is another one of the most common reader reasons why people use AI is they have writer's block. Now this can be a, you know, like a burnout type of writer's block where you just can't get going again. It might just be that you're trying to figure out a different way to write a certain thing. I saw a meme the other day that said that writing is 10% inspiration and 90% trying to think of how a character should cross a room and how to write that. And I thought that is so true. AI is great for that kind of stuff. You're just like, ah, I don't really know how he's going to get from here to there and do this. You just pump it into AI and it can give you something. And even if it's not quite what you're looking for, it gives you enough creative spark that you're able to say, oh, no, it shouldn't be like that, but it can be like this. And that's one of the best w ways that AI uh, can be used. And I feel like before AI was good enough to write prose, this was the main reason that it was being used. Number seven, you hate marketing. This is another one that I know a lot of authors strongly identify. Uh, I have a feeling that most book description companies are going to be put out of business because so many authors are going to be turning to AI to write their book descriptions because guess what? AI does a pretty decent job of book descriptions. It's also not too bad at various forms of copywriting, although usually you need to give it some frameworks for that to, to work well. There's all kinds of marketing that AI can help with. Uh, it can help you write your emails. Because e authors, even though we love writing books in some cases, there are other forms of writing, copywriting, for example, email writing, that we might not enjoy as much. Uh, we think that all writing is writing, but it's really not. There are so many different types of writing, and we usually only like one or two. And so if you hate marketing, AI can really get you going there. You can even use it as a scheduling assistant to say, hey, uh, I've got a launch coming up. What are some things I can do for marketing? What are some social media posts I can make? You know, what, and then you can ask it to give you headlines for your ads. There's so many different things that you can use AI for. It's one of the best use cases. And I have a feeling that even authors who are against AI to one degree or another will be more inclined to try it for marketing purposes. So I think we'll see a lot of that. Number eight, you need a brainstorming partner. Again, this is another one of those really common use cases of AI is just as a sounding board to get your ideas across and see um, what AI can give you. And it, a lot of it's crap, but a lot of it is 
not bad. And at the very least, you can it gives you ideas and it gets your brain thinking and the gears twirling and eventually you come up with some some good ideas. And what that does is it eliminates decision fatigue so that you have more creative energy to just put into the writing. Number nine, you need to improve your writing. So maybe you don't use AI for the actual writing. Maybe you just use it for revision and for checking over your manuscript. AI is pretty good for that. In fact, tools that use AI for proofreading, for example, like ProWriting Aid and Grammarly have been, you, you know, we don't often think of it as AI, but it has been using AI language models, the same kind of language models that ChatGPT uses uh, to work on improving your proof, uh, your proofreading. So this is already an AI tool that most authors are using, to be honest, uh, but not one that is really thought of as AI most of the time because it's not the kind of generative writing that we're used to seeing from a tool like Claude or ChatGPT or PseudoWrite. Number 10, you want to save time. Again, totally valid use. Uh, some of us only have maybe half an hour in the day to spare for our writing. And, you know, in a half an hour, you could potentially get a chapter done with AI the way things are going, and it's only going to get faster. So that is another very valid way of doing things for the very, very busy people out there. Those are there hustling and uh, stuck in their dead end jobs. This is an important one for you. Number 11, you have a disability. And we talked about neurodivergence a little bit earlier. This also goes for any kind of physical disability that you might have, temporary or chronic. Um, I've had long bouts of back pain in my life that have interfered with my work. In 2020, ironically not related to COVID, I went for four months completely bedridden. And I could do a little writing, but it was very difficult. And if I really wish the AI had been around in the way it is now back then, because I could have gotten so much written during that time, just from my little uh, uh, bed desk that I had. Uh, but there are multiple disabilities that AI can really help you with. Uh, if you're not able to touch the keyboard very well, it definitely eliminates the amount that you need to do that. If you combine it with AI dictation, like OpenAI's Whisper, then you're able to get really almost flawless dictation and control the chat bots that way and control the writing that way. So there's some really cool things you can do there. Number 12, you want to create multi merchandise or multiple versions of your book. So if you look at AI art, you're able to do all kinds of things that can supplement your book and create a more rich experience for your readers like concept art or coloring books or um, you could create designs for stickers or pins or patches. You can create multiple versions of the book. So perhaps multiple languages or whatever it is, uh, illustrated versions of your books, all of that. Comic books even, that's becoming more of a viable thing. Maybe I'll do some videos on, on that in the future. Uh, it's not really a thing I, I've looked into too much, but I know there are a lot of people actually creating genuinely good looking comics with AI and the cost of that coming down significantly. So that's another reason why you might want to use AI. 13, you have a language barrier. So one of the people in the groups I'm in mentioned this and reminded me of this. Uh, maybe English isn't your first language. And so writing in English is difficult for you. When you use AI, you can really get past a lot of that, or you can write it yourself and then run it through AI to make it read better in English. And that's one of the great things. I did a video a while back about the Flesh e Reading Ease score. You can ask it to, and in fact, I discovered that by working with a ghostwriter for an article for my website and English was clearly not his first language. The information was good, but the just the pacing of the words was a little off. And so I asked ChatGPT to update the flesh reading score and it did a fantastic job and made it so much better. So if you, if English is not your first language, definitely AI can help with that. 
Those are my reasons. But all of these kind of have something in common, and that is they they involve a pain point. Pain points, this thing of phrase that gets thrown around in marketing a lot. I guarantee you that every single person listening to this, every single person who has ever written a book, there is a portion of that book writing process that they absolutely hate. Whether it's outlining, or whether it's putting down the actual words, or whether it's editing, whether it's the marketing, writing the book description, etc. I guarantee you there is something that you do not like. That is ultimately where AI can be the most help. AI is a tool to help smooth out those pain points and make them a little easier to bear so that we can therefore spend more time on the thing that we like the most. In my case, it's the brainstorming, the outlining. I love that part. So I actually don't use AI too much when I'm outlining, but I use AI a lot in all of the, all of the other areas. And it's a much more enjoyable writer experience for me. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.